Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, this is just going to be a quickie today to let you know that uh, I'm just on this thing today to get everything nice and hot. So take advantage of it. Go get something to eat. And we are officially one week away from leaving. And I'm 99% sure we're going to be heading west. Mostly because of all the... Uh, wild fog stuff in Canada that's screwing up the East Coast. So, I, 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 I'm pretty sure we're going to leave out Friday afternoon and get to somewhere between about somewhere between Champaign and Vandalia, Illinois. And then, so the second day we'll get somewhere around Denver. And then to probably Wendell. We'll probably go We'll probably go through Salt Lake, stop for a minute, go across the Rockies via US-40, and we'll do that. Because uh, that's a route I haven't taken, so we'll do that. Uh, get an early start. I know it's going to be kind of a chilly start because most likely going across the mountains at 7 o'clock in the morning would be kind of chilly, but we're talking... 500 and something miles on uh, including a couple of mountain passes, three of them, plus a few towns, and da 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 da, da. I, think, I think we're going to want an early start, and we'll stop in, in Wendover, uh, that way I can have a little fun, then we'll continue across to Reno, then north from Reno, I don't know if I'm going to go to California or not, I might. And then we'll start working my way back east because I only got eight days. Well, nine days. <coughs> but one day is going to be short because I want to be back Saturday afternoon. The following Saturday afternoon. But that, that's my plan. We, we have a plan at least. Uh, the weather looks like it's going to be okay to start. A uh, slight chance of some afternoon showers, but we'll, we'll see what happens as we go. If I take, you know, if I head south or if I head more towards Des Moines or Iowa City in that area the first day, you can get to Denver either way, either heading towards 70 or heading towards 80. It just is depending if you're going across Kansas or Nebraska or Missouri and Iowa. It's that same thing. It's that same thing. The, the first couple days are going to be putting some mileage across. Uh, because, yeah, I got, I got a, a doctor's appointment that I'll be leaving from, hopefully. That, that's the plan. But we'll see. At this point, I, I don't know uh, exactly what's going to happen. But we're getting this thing good and hot so I can change the oil in it and all three holes. We'll do that later. Uh, so I'm going to go up to New Buffalo up to the casino and uh, enjoy the primary buffet because that guy hungry. And, uh, but yeah, so I got this trip coming up that I'm back for reality through most of July. And then we leave again because I'm going to Sturgis. Because I'm going to the rally. Uh, I'll be staying at the chip. I think I said that before. I'll be in the South 40. So any of y'all in the area and want to come up and say hi, uh, maybe I'll put something in the community tab of exactly where, where I'm at. Uh, I, I, I know I'm going to be there the Thursday before the actual rally starts. And I'm going to be going to the, the professional monkeys. Uh, Shindig, and they're doing a kickstand with Jasmine Kane, because I, I, I'll be honest, I've never really heard her music, but if, if the monk likes her, it's probably going to be pretty good. Uh, I, part of me wanted to ride to Sturgis and do like the, the easy camp or, you know, camp easy ride or that stuff, but I look at it like... You're, you're seven hundred dollars for four days at a rally. It's like, what's what's the point? You know, the the, the 
the RV spot with water and 30 amp power is only costing, I think, like 600 for the week plus the campground admission. Yeah, I'm not riding the Sturgis, but I'll have a shower, I'll have a toilet, I'll have a bath, you know, I'll have a kitchen, I'll have everything I need. Sure, the fuel's going to be a little more, but, man, man, maybe if we go again, if I have a good time and I choose to go again next year, maybe we try doing that. I mean, if it was the whole week of the rally for $700, now that makes some sense. But for just half of it, not so, <laughs> not so much. But I'm curious to know if any of y'all in the gun in Sturgis, drop in a line in the comments. Where are you staying? Uh, Monk, I thought was staying at the Steel Pony. I think is what he said. But I, I guarantee you, I'll probably run into him a couple times at the chip. Uh, he's got, he, he did make a video last week, or this week, a couple days ago about the stuff to do. And that was kind of nice to see. But my plans are, um, like we're going to get there. We're, the first day out, we're going to leave probably around 3 in the morning to make sure I'm through Chicago by 4.30, 5 o'clock. That way I can go through downtown and save some money on some of the tolls. Because, yeah, it's, it's, tolls are, tolls suck. But, that way I can go through downtown and take 290 out to, by, by, yeah, by the north. If, if you're from Chicago, you know where 290 and 90 meet. Uh, that, that area, and that'll save me probably, I don't know, five bucks, ten bucks, over taking 294 out to 90, which is a toll road all the way in Illinois, which sucks. Um, the first day out, I'm going to try, I'm going to call probably this week to try and make a reservation at the, was it, Grand... Grand Something's Casino, that's in Iowa, and it's not too far from where Sioux, uh, Sioux Falls is. It's like 600 and change from the house. But that way... But that way I can have some fun, and have a decent meal, and blah, 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 blah. Play some polka or something. I think they said they had a, polka, a card room there. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll probably. My, my guess is uh, we'll be there probably in the neighborhood of. If we leave here at three, I, I'm guessing we get there probably about five o'clock in the evening, giving me time to stop to eat and you know. BS and the stuff I need, you know, personal stuff you need to do when you're driving. Get fuel. And then we'll leave out probably around 6 o'clock. Yeah. Probably about 6 o'clock. And we'll, uh, we'll basically, and, and the nice thing about doing that far is we're only going to be like 300 and I think it was like 370 to the chip. So should be able to make that in about seven hours. Even stopping the 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 one or two times that need to get fuel. Yeah, probably about so we should get to the chip probably about one o'clock. So that we can get unloaded and checked in and blah 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 blah. And head down into either uh, either towards the rally at exit 55 or Maybe in a town. I, I don't think I'll have time to do, you know, one of the one of the nice rides, either either Iron Mountain Road or or uh, Needles Highway. But I'll, I'll make sure I get on those two at least.
but everything's going to depend because I got a doctor's appointment at 2:30. Uh, it's an echo, so it shouldn't. Assuming they're running on time, it should be pretty quick. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing I'll be out of there within a half an hour. So by three o'clock, hopefully, be on the road. Have this thing with me, gassed up, ready to go. Blah 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 blah. And be like I said, on the road by three three thirty and try to make about 300 miles or so. But like I said, we've got a plan. And the second day, get out towards Denver. I don't know if it'll be Denver proper, if it'll be one of the suburbs, as far away possibly as Lyman, which just, just, to, just to absolutely irritate the you-know-what out of the out of the control city freak. Lyman, Lyman, not Lyman anywhere, but Lyman. Yeah, well, we'll see, I don't know yet. Two hours later. So yeah, I think I'm looking at right around 4,000 miles on the trip this year. They're about, maybe a little bit more over the course of eight day, eight days, nine days. The longest day is probably gonna be the second day out, the first full day out from, uh, yeah, from Vendalia or wherever to the Denver area. To Wendover, I think it'll be like six, th thereabouts. Reno ain't that far. I think Reno is from, from Wendover will be like maybe I don't know. 'Cause gas is expensive in California because you know it's the land of fruits and nuts. Because California the land of fruits and nuts. Father used to say that to my to my grandma, but eh, my grandma's come back is perfect. You know your brother lives out there. He's <laughs> my grandfather, with, with all serious says, and you know, as in, yeah, I give you exhibit A. Oh, so I don't like I said, I don't I don't know what the future is going to hold. Maybe next year we go ahead and upgrade. I, it won't be this year. It might be next year, but I doubt it. I, I think we're going to kind of be a little bit miserly with money right now. Yeah, we're going to use the money to travel and stuff, but other than... change the primary. I don't know if I'm going to... Eh, I'll probably adjust it. I don't know. I might just leave it alone because I got to adjust the clutch if I need to when we're on the road. 
because it, it ain't that hard and I have the tools for it. I don't know, we'll see. So until next time, y'all be safe. Keep that shiny side up, that greasy side down. We'll catch you probably on the road. Later, guys.